We're now going to take a closer look at the All Events Detail Report for subscribers. It's accessed through the drop-down menu selections of H, S, and then A as an Apple. I'm going to go ahead and hit the A key now, and I'm going to put in the account number for Tequila Willies. I will not put a date and time in, because I know that if I don't, I'm going to bring up today's history, which is what I'm going to help use for the explanation. I should note that we can, when we're pulling multiple accounts, whether printing or faxing or emailing, we can go down to the sort by capabilities below there and have a much more powerful capability of sending reports. Okay, let's hit the F10, and then I'm going to bring it up to the console, but while I'm here, I guess I should take a moment and note that I could print this out to up to three different printers. I could have put an email address uh, so that this would be sent out. I could put in a Palm Pilot address for a different type of email report. Uh, there is the phone number that could be done for faxing capability, uh, or I can go to a disk file. In our particular demonstration here though, I'm going to bring it straight to the console and we've got it up now. The events we're going to be looking at, and I'll try to explain these, are first of all we know that the date is the 17th, it's a Saturday morning at 10.11 a.m. and then completed at 10.11 which means that it was just autologued straight through. A code 00 was received in and it was a message TST subscriber test and in this case I know it was a manual alarm because we've put the operator initials over the far right hand side. In addition there's a smaller identifier there that in our case for the first signal is a lowercase e. There are several identifiers here. The lowercase e means that this zone was emailed directly to either the customer or to the dealer. At any rate we know that upon reception there was an email transmitted out along with this zone. The second entry here is a burglary. We can see an asterisk next to it, which is our indicator for a manual alarm entry. There are others. A ampersand sign is used to identify open access. A greater than sign, which means a right hand bracket pointing to the right, indicates that zone was out of service. A left hand bracket, which means or less than sign, indicates that account had been placed on cancel status uh, inside of page one of the database. And the last one is an at sign, which indicates that that zone was in emergency mode. These are little indicators because sometimes we're going to autolog signals and if we go back and have to reconstruct why they were autologed, these are the identifiers that will assist us in that. Now I can tell on the second event here that that event hit our traffic display at 10.11 and 32 seconds a.m. It was a code 3, it was a message BUR, and the description was for safe opening. I now know that the event operator, LAV, pulled that event down from the traffic display at 10, 11, and 34 seconds. So I know that it sat on the traffic display for two seconds, and then the initial pull down was at 34 seconds after the, after the minute. The current status on that account was open. The contact that was immediately called was the Arlita Police Department. Their phone number was here, even though the operator saw global, we'll actually uh, put in the report the exact number that was dialed out. And the contact result was a badge number given, ID 2235. The duration of the call is located over here. 10, 11, and 46 seconds was the beginning of the call. The call was terminated or completed at 10, 12 and 6 seconds. So we know we easily can compute that the duration of the call to the police department was 20 seconds. Now the important thing to see here was the operator pulled this particular event down at 10, 11 and 32 seconds or excuse me, the, it came out at 10, 11 and 32 seconds, was pulled down at 10, 11 and 34 seconds and 12 seconds later the actual call to the police department began 20 seconds later that call was over 
The next contact that was called was Paul Levine and so forth with his phone number. His result, or what the operator got from him, was that he will attend. If for some reason there was no answer, I would expect the words no answer to show up in there because they're automatically inserted by the phone dialer modem. If the line was busy, it would have been inserted busy. Notice that this particular call was at 10, 12, and 10 seconds. 10, 12, and 10 seconds. So from 4 seconds to start the next call or hit the F2 for the next call and it continued on for 22 seconds and was completed at 10.32. A pass card was given, Mr. Paul Levine, and the complete event was completed on the 17th at 10.12 and 40 seconds and by operator LAV the final disposition was the police was dispatched. So we get a very close snapshot right down to the second of all the operations that the operator took on this particular event. Now we could go further and talk about the next one down here but the, the same thing holds true. Uh, the only thing that I would like to bring to your attention about the second one was that a Code 11 restoral uh, smoke detector in kitchen a restoral in that smoke detector was brought down by the operator at 10.16.52 and when it was completed there is what we refer to as a subsequent event or an associated event which was a unrestored for safe opening was also completed at the same time so this operator completed two events at the same time here thank you that completes our description, all of the all events detail.